And we're back. We um, are back. We're gonna land on Europa. Uh, Alright. We're landing um, in Europe? Yeah, yeah, we're landing in Europe. Oh, okay. Uh, can't you tell it's like cold and stormy and, and, and horrible? Yeah, that's Europe. That's Europe um, for you, yeah. All like of for, all of Europe. Like Europe nine like months out of the year. Uh I hear Italy's pretty nice. Um okay, wait, so you were asking, like, is this game a port? And I I actually wanted to do mm -hmm. like Star Control 2, the original Star Control 2, to my knowledge, was released in 1992 uh, on Ooh. the 3DO. And if you don't know what the 3DO is, it was like a really old console. Yeah. Um, it got ported to PC, I believe, in 2002, so 10 years later. Ooh. Hold on. Oh. Unidentified object. Well, this Looks is like a, a heck of a thing, Captain. Yeah. We found some kind of monument here. Mm. At least, I think it's a monument. It's a big, multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions sticking out of it. Balls um, and sticks, kind of. Balls and There's sticks. There's text on it, I, or mm. graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, anyways. Uh, not much we can do with it, but admire it. It's just something someone left in the front done. yard. <laughs> we'll just leave Like their version of a toilet. We never got done modeling this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, um... But uh, so this game got ported, or, or not this game, uh, Star Control 2 got ported to PC uh, with, under mm. the name the Urquan Masters. So the Urquan were the bad guys in, in that game. And mm. uh, got ported to PC, I believe, in 2002. And that's one of the games that I want to play on. Whoa, this Captain, planet. the weather on this planet will make landing very difficult. That looks like a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> does it now? <laughs> that's a lot of volcanoes. There is uranium. Oh, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. Brave it. You can uh, do it. I have faith. Are you sure? We need that uranium. Our ship I mean, is going to burn while we're down just, here. Just go fast. Uh, Look, I see uranium right there. How do you... Where, which one? That green, one? Green spots, right? No, no, no. Um, that's be green? promethium. The uranium is, is uh, it's symbolic. Oh, yeah, so we... by the yellow. Okay, so we land, we grab whatever we can and just Are get the F.A. Are you absolutely sure? Yeah, I mean... All right, now nah, let's do it. The captain said... We're, we're, we're brave. Go. We're brave boys. Uh, oh, I might have gone too far. Nope. 1992. Holy cow. Oh, this Were is computers horrible. even invented then? I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, we've taken damage. That's Centium. We've taken oh. damage. We've yeah, taken uranium! Damage. That was uranium right there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. I was trying oh. to get that. <laughs> Six people gone. <laughs> and the lander. And all okay, the uh, maybe and all the... we don't. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, hmm. Whoops. <laughs> what? Whoops. Yeah, some <laughs> some it's okay. They're red, they're red shirts. It's yeah, they're, fine. They're so we shirts. lost a full lander. Is that? Yeah, that's gone. Gone permanently. Mm -hmm. How do we get another one back? Uh, look, there's uranium here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can you can buy. You em. fool. You can buy them. Ah. You can buy them at the uh, starbase. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, wh why'd you do that then? I, you were super confident that I could get some. You were exceptionally confident that I could get some, uh, some freaking uranium. Well, you assumed that I knew what I was doing, and you know what That's they say correct. when you assume. Yeah, make more assumptions. It makes the conversation go faster. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> That's a reference oh. to uh, a YouTube video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, in, uh, I guess, did you say 1982 was where the first Star Control came out? I actually don't remember much about Star Control well, 1. I have no idea. I mean, oh. I remember the CDO. Ah, okay. Um, or the 3DO, I mean. The, the 3DO. But, did I say yeah, CDO or CDO. 3DO? I think you said 3DO. I might be dead. Um, but, uh. But I do remember, uh, my dad had the original Atari console. Uh, I don't know what that one was. So, the original Atari console, basically what it was is, um, <laughs> it was based... It's the Atari 1. It was like, yeah, the Atari 1. <laughs> and essentially what it was is that all it was was two dials, and pretty much every single game was like a version of Pong. Oh, uh, that sounds, that sounds super useful. Yeah, it was it was actually really cool, and the way it actually worked oh, no. okay. is the graphics were super simple. Like it didn't have graphics of any kind, really. It right. was basically just lines on a screen. Right. Um, so you would put these stickers over your TV, 
they weren't stickers, but it was like a cardboard cutout that would simulate like um, a tennis court. Oh, like a or UI? a baseball field. I guess that's yeah. A pretty it was interesting. Way it was a very rudimentary UI that you would just slap on top of your TV. Hmm. Yeah. I I guess like Tiger Electronics kind of copied that later on. Uh, are these planets? Uh, Artemis. Artemis and El Elpis. Because I was counting, I was counting uh, orbit rings, and uh, I was like, oh, there's a ninth one. Pluto's got to be in here somewhere. There's no Pluto. We well, have these maybe ones. they put this one in because Pluto is not a planet anymore. At least I don't see a Pluto. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's so small. They no. started developing this game back in like 2009. Well, so in the uh, yeah, in the uh, in the OG Star Control, Pluto was a planet, obviously. It was yeah. uh, 1992. Yeah. All right, let's see what's on this very cold, distant moon. Captain, we're detecting movement on the Ooh. surface. Looks like movement. some kind of robotic. Oh, drones. we get to fight uh, things. Uh, okay. We'll have to be careful. There isn't. I see a little spider. Structure. Yeah, little guy walking around there, and then look at all these minerals here. Krypton? Yeah, we can go fight Superman then. Fight Superman? We're going to Krypton, boys. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. I gotta be, I gotta be good at landing. I'm actually most okay, of the time. We only have when one I, I ship left. Boom. Oh, was that was that one of the the yep. Yep. taxis Run. or whatever they are? Yeah. Uh, these little circles Lexites. here. That's the name. Uh, I don't think that these are Lexites. No. It says unknown entity. So hey, maybe they are. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> hey, I know we haven't seen you guys in like 50 years, but boom. <laughs> We're gonna blow you up. <laughs> I love that you can see the ship in orbit. Look at that. You can. Pretty. Wow. Like a neat. It's like the uh, an upscale version of like Super Mario Galaxy or something. Also, apparently, right. if I angle the the laser up, the 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 shot just keeps going. You know, that's a good point. I actually have the ability to stream my. Um, I, I could record my my switch, yeah. Ooh. So if, if we, we wanted to do some, like Mario Galaxy yeah, or something, play some, uh, play some. Man, Age we need Empires to like. Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. No, wait. Age of Empires. I would love <laughs> to play some Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition if I wasn't turbo ass at the game. So we have a, a running joke in our group uh, where anytime we want to play Civilization 6, we call it Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't know where we got that joke from, like why we started calling it that. I don't know, because we like to call games really stupid names whenever we play them a lot. Yeah, like we talk about Apex Legends and we call it like Ibex Like Legumes. Ibex Legumes and yeah, such, so yeah. Pretty common one. Um, yeah. I think it was because, uh, oh, and this is going to get into some deep lore about the <laughs> deep <laughs> lore. Um, we were trying to convince Blonde to play Civilization Six. Right. And every time that she... Uh, I'm out of. I don't, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any storage space. So I, I started calling it Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition because she didn't have the game. She didn't have Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. That is, she had Civ 6. Yeah. So we gave it to her. Um, every time you say it, you have to go the full name. Yeah, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Ow! Oh, it shot Dude. at me. It missed. It wow, it missed. Me. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, all of that murder was justified <laughs> because um. it was self-defense. <laughs> right, let's see. Captain, you're not gonna believe they it. They shot second, but this that's looks okay. like it's another Lexite this might have facility. Actually been Lexite. This must be where they went after oh. they left the moon. <laughs> this is bigger and Ooh. more well equipped than their lunar facility. Did There's we have a, a choice here not that's to clearly shoot intended for constructing uh, a starship? I mean, that last one shot at me. One. Oh, this is nuts. <laughs> yeah, There's no a star shit. chart here, Captain. Looks like the W51 giant molecular cloud is highlighted. Uh, W51 like giant molecular cloud is the world light years that? away. There's more. The radio antenna outside seems to be tracking W51 whenever it's above the horizon. What? Did the Lexites decipher something in the W51 radio source? Is what is W51? Going? Uh, or going I, away from? I know what WD40 no is. Lexites around to ask any um, questions. Looks like they left in a hurry. There are a lot of spare parts just left lying around. We should ooh. notify Earth about this. Yeah, let's. Wait, part. here's something. This is a ship. A small uh -huh. one. Clearly, they didn't build the whole hangar for just this. An uh -huh. interceptor, maybe, but it looks interceptor. incomplete. Incomplete. If I'm reading these engine schematics right, mm. it looks like so its thrusters it require neutronium to operate. They haven't got quite. I don't think yet. we have any of that in this solar system, oh. Captain. 
I guess that's why the Lexites left this behind. Neutronium. He said. Oh well. Neutronium. Maybe we can come back to this later. Uh, yeah, I assume we already don't have any on board. Okay. Well, so there's a there's a ship. I think here we had some at some point, but you sold it all. Uh, I can assure you that we didn't, because neutronium is a uh, purple mineral, which means it's super rare, and we didn't find any. Um, but cool, um, good to know. Uh, cool. Also, all things considered, um, wait, so he said W51. Did that say Ultramarine on that planet? Oh, this one? Yeah, planet type. Yeah, Ultramarine. Ultra, yeah, there's just a bunch so of uh, they're not. Uh, Warhammer <laughs> yeah. Marines stomping about down there. That's what those robots were. So I was assuming Ow. if he was talking about um, the W-51 cluster or whatever, I was assuming if mm. uh, if it existed in our part of the galaxy, he would mark it on our map. But I guess it's oh, so yeah. far away that he just didn't bother marking it. Probably. So, um, you know what you should see, probably also do before we get exploded on our other save. lander? Save, yeah. yeah. Save the game. Um. <laughs> <laughs> because just in case lost the lander this planet's also saying it's got stuff on it but it's a gas giant so I'm not sure how that's gonna I, we wouldn't be able to land yeah um, hey, it's Artemis. will we be able to uh, since eventually we found this thing all the way out here in the 40s scientists have been wondering uh, I don't think get so. more interesting and uh, hmm. nope but he's not today Carrie is saying stuff so oh all right maybe not oh looks like a marble thanks care oh now <laughs> the thing went away Oh, great. Thanks, Thank Gary. You. I guess that Appreciate was Appreciate it. Hi, what's up, guys? Boop these guys out of the way. Excuse me. Hi, Wam is just merrily making their way on survey vessel. So we did We did get some, uh, we did get some, um, maybe they're serving us. Oh, uranium, we did, yeah. We did get some uranium, so let's check out what they left for us on the moon. Let's, let's start it up. Start up whatever lander defense item is on the moon. Yeah. Well, I love landing um, when it's just a straight shot. We're landing, 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 landing. The hard what? land, like the the difficult landings, um, they stress me oh, out man. because if you miss, like if you miss the circle entirely, you'll just crash the lander and then, boom. Oh, you're... perfect. Yeah, especially because we only have one. Because someone decided to land on a planet with volcanoes. You know what, man? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> we'll go Wasn't buy one. was me that had the idea. We're back no. at the Lexite's lunar facility, Captain. The one with uh, the weird device. There's a slot in the device here. Do we oh. have any uranium we can feed this thing? Yes, we do. We do? So, yeah, are we just putting in like a CD worth of uranium? Uh, yeah, how do you how do you measure a unit of uranium? Well, it's some kind of laser gun, Captain. Ooh. Looks hmm. like it will fit Ooh. right on our lander. Ooh. That was nice of the Lexites. I think we already well, have a laser gun on our lander. But we need more lasers, need so more. it's fine. Uh, you can only put one. Ooh. Hey, Captain. But now we get two shots. If you have a laser gun. No. <laughs> try shooting some rocks with it. Stick, this is just me like holding down the fire button for a little bit. This is oh, a fire. oh, okay. This is just Wait, me how did we already get a laser though? We bought one, I believe. Um, so, did they not think that we would buy one, or possibly? I'm not sure, but uh, hey, you know, now we have it. So, we have so a spare. did we waste money? Uh, eh, maybe. Oh, that's why well, we're playing on normal difficulty. That? <laughs> this is why we're playing on normal difficulty. Um, before we talk to you and tell you all this stuff, I'm actually gonna go sell everything that we got. Oh, okay, okay. Because no neutronium in here. <laughs> Guaranteed. And, well, uh... Can we not synthesize neutronium? Oh. Oh, oh, we can just camera. sell it back. So lovely. Sell it back, yep. So, uh, oh, that's lovely. Get, get some money all back. this crap out of here. Delicious. Oh, yes. don't have money. And then sell that. Oh. So, now we can go get that nuke that we wanted. Now we can spend it on blackjack and hookers. Wait, no. <laughs> All of our resource units. Uh, no, actually, not this one here. We'll replace our we... basic nuke with an advanced nuke. Okay. Because, you know, okay, advanced cool. nuclear warfare, that's important. Yeah. Um, and then we can buy some more modules. If we Did we... Okay, so... Hmm. Actually, we should, should we probably... upgrade should probably our fuel engine? Uh, we can't upgrade our engine right now. We can upgrade our uh, thruster, though. Make us more... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to spend the rest probably on fuel. How do I how do I fill up fuel? Oh, it's probably on our uh, managed fleet. No. That's a good question. I actually don't know. I don't remember. Uh oh, this is our old thruster and our old nuke. We can sell these. Oh, sell them then. Get rid of them. Oh, okay. buy items. There it is. Uh, so we can replace what, what I think are, we should buy a land. <laughs> what are these? Uh, they look like thrusters of some kind. 
on earth are th they don't have Wait, any at the very resources. bottom that one asked for zero plus five gold can so we if we get it? five gold we can buy it Wait, is it like gold like physical okay so i i do need to save oh. some resources then i have no idea what these are I actually legitimately do not know they might have been added in the latest expansion or something mm -hmm. um so let me let me buy a lander fill her up and then and fill her up yeah there we go now we're full how many landers can we buy uh, I believe we can carry four. So actually, yeah, let's go with some more. There we go. Now we got yeah. four members, so we're full awesome. up. Awesome. Anything else? Let's blow them all up. Now that oh, we're no. now that we're here. Um, yeah. By the way, Luxite facility. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, we've seen the recordings of your activities oh. on the surface. Were you watching us so, too? Who is not watching us? Story, Captain. <laughs> In fact, nobody outside of Star Control's senior ranks knows oh. what I'm about to tell you. Uh, oh. Before the Lexites left, this is they contacted the leaders of every government it. in the world and delivered a threat. Mm. A threat? Not a threat from them, a threat from someone else. Oh, okay. The Lexites had evidently so they're, they're, uh, a radio shoot, signal. Don't shoot the messenger. The first kind of solid scenario. evidence of alien life. Possibly. Alien life that was killing each oh, other. Oh, it was. they probably found about the, the scribe. The Lexites wouldn't share the entire uh. message with us, but they believed this signal posed or an maybe it was the one from immediate w threat to life on Earth. Possible. So they ran. I see. Star Control was founded one year later. You can now see why we're so concerned about alien radio signals. <laughs> so you and made Star evidence, Control just specifically for the signal radio signals? The w radio source. They made Star Control about the Lexites. The good news is that's 17,000 oh, okay. light years away. Okay. The bad okay. news is it still caused the Lexites to run away. Like, immediately. So should we run? I mean, that sounds like a pretty to plausible on, though, thing to so do. So for now, your orders remain the same. Yeah, we've got. Find out more information we've, about we've the We've got one starship. We can fit yeah, everyone yeah. on Earth onto it and get yeah. out of here. Well, I mean, you do basically an interstellar where you just put a few people on it, put some embryos in it, and fly have, it to a new planet. We have about a hundred people. Oh right. god, I just spoiled like all of Interstellar. Sorry oh. about spoiling like a ten-year-old movie. Yeah, yeah. How dare you? All right, so we've done some resource collection. We've gotten our ship upgraded. Uh, now, oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. Now, we can continue doing some of these other objectives. So, uh, obviously, aside from returning with some neutronium. We need to get neutronium, okay. But we can also make contact with these homeworlds up here. Uh, we we should go look at the min-maxers. The min-maxers? I believe they're the yeah. furthest ones away. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're all the way out here. So, oh. I mean, we could. Um, cause we can make it out there with, with fuel. We would just have to find one of the Stargates to get back. Oh, okay. Uh, was there anything else we can do, like, closer? Uh, well, I mean, the, the sure. UK are much closer. Oh, um, okay, let's go for Proxima the Proxima Centauri, also, we had, uh, the, if you remember the green aliens, the Arlu, they told us to go visit that system. Oh, okay. Let's go there. That sounds there. fun. It's right there. Yeah. Very close. And we'll, we'll talk to the other alien races, uh, later. Sure. We're slowly We're slow. leaving. Wow. Yeah, we need to get some thrusters. Foosh. Were we in the um? And guess what? No wake zone. We're already here. <laughs> we were in the no wake zone. That, yeah. that was. I, I wow. don't know what that means. Used oh, to be oh. Like, like boating. You're, you, whenever you're too close to the dock, you're not allowed to make waves. Then a bunch of ah, refugees right. showed up. Yeah. I and think. No one knows where they came from. Refugees but showed up. I think it's because. Oh. Bustling. The furthest, the further we get away from the uh, the the center of the solar system, the um, slower we move, because it's getting further away and from. Hello. The, oh. Hi. Hi. What do you want? Leave your vessel now, and you might survive this. What in the world is that creature? <laughs> um. What sort of doom monster is that thing? It's an arachnatron. Uh. Leave your vessel now and you might survive this. Actually, I'm fairly certain if we leave our vessel, we won't survive. That's how space works. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we need the vessel to breathe. Um, then it will be a big thing for us as well. Uh, so they can breathe in space. That's concerning. Space spiders. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. Gosh, you're shiny and new. Okay. We are the Kazanti. Uh, as your people will soon learn. In this part of space, Russian. you're going to want to avoid the Kazanti. Well, I mean, I appreciate that, um, but like, if you want to be avoided, why did you mm -hmm. come up to me? <laughs> yeah, it's, this is a good point. <laughs> what is this? Uh, we're seeking allies. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, we're seeking allies. Yeah, if yeah. you're new around here, I bet you are. Oh, okay. Look, here's how we feel about the scribe. Not at all. Uh, the scribe what? empire are the worst thing to ever happen to you. Oh, okay. They'll wipe yeah. out everything you and your people have ever known. Okay. But oh, help everyone us. else in the galaxy, they're a shambling wreck. A slowly unfolding disaster lashing out to everyone they see. Okay. Which leaves a lot of opportunity for entrepreneurs. Oh, such as so, friends. wow. You know what's one That's of the so most mean. profitable things we do? <laughs> Peeking through the bones of shiny young aliens just obliterated by the scribe. I see. So, where do you hail from, friendo? Friendo? Where are your people's bones gonna be? Where are our bones gonna be? Uh, go to hell. Ah, fair enough. We'll just take your ship then. A lot of these aliens just know English, and that is very helpful. I believe. Well, <laughs> so mm, this was part. This was partially explained in Star Control Two. Um, back in that game, uh, when humans are kind of more on par with all the other aliens, uh, mm -hmm. we have translation software. So ah. it'll just turn whatever noises or, or signals that they make into English. Um, in this game, however because we are not that technologically advanced it's actually the aliens have their translation software that is turning what they're saying into english for us oh that's very helpful so, yeah very convenient um also yeah. uh <laughs> we're in combat so hey i get to take my patroller let's do it i get to show you why this thing is so badass here's my primary weapon oh dang and he's already almost killed that's um yeah that's pretty powerful um only, only thing that sucks is it takes up so much um, power. And he's dead. Mm -hmm. And he's dead. Wow. 750 yeah. Russians have yep. joined it. No. <laughs> well, he was. He did have the uh, accent for it. So. Right, right. Um, all right. All right. We got something here. Uh huh. Missing out. Proxima Centauri Proxima 6. Centauri. That. <laughs> hmm, what does that look like to you? Uh, to what? me, it looks like another patroller vessel, and I want that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Whoosh. Cool. Oh, land in the circle. Land in the ring. Land yeah. in the ring. Let's go. You did it. Fantastic. I'm such a good captain. Yo, there's some neon. We can make a sign <laughs> saying "Go oh, away." That, that might not be a. Oh. I have a little That's bit more trouble here, putting captain. that one together. Uh, not natural. <laughs> looks looks like part wrecked. of a spaceship. We'll salvage what we can, but it's pretty banged up. Yeah. We'll probably just mostly bit, yeah. take some pictures of us standing beside it. That should be fun. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. At least he's a uh, Axon drive. Oh, right, Axon right. Drive is. Uh, all right, cool. Well, hey, we received a ship part, so there's that. I'll grab this neon we for you. Whoosh. <laughs> Whoosh. And then once tiny we ball clean up... Yeah, That's once we clean up this planet... I think we should take a break. Take another break? Sure thing. Yeah. Let's sweet. not get destroyed by uh, space pirates. Well, I mean, yeah, Next exactly. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'll see you guys Bye. later. Bye for now.